It looks like Tesla superchargers are going to be aggressively expanding in 2021. At least that's what Tesla's new supercharger map hints for aggressive expansion for 2021. Welcome back, everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our daily Tesla news and analysis from our Torque News channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Simon Alvarez from TeslaRadi.com has the details saying an updated, an updated, update to Tesla's map for its supercharger network hints at a massive expansion coming in 2021. This is a good news. Based on the electric car makers find us map for this year for 2021, the supercharger network will be aggressively expanding in several areas across the globe on 2021 from the United States to other territories such as China. <clears throat> Tesla's annual updates to its supercharger map provide a glimpse into the electric car maker's intentions for its rapid charging system. While a number of these superchargers may be cancelled due to factors such as uh, uh, property owners or utility companies, the sheer number of planned chargers for 2021 is notable nonetheless. Alvarez also writes uh, that in the United States and Canada alone, Tesla's supercharger map for 2021 suggests that a serious ramp of the charging stations will be initiated. Tesla noted back in early 2019 that over 99% of the US population was already covered by the supercharger network. This estimate would likely be extremely conservative by the end of this year, by the end of 2021. Alvarez also says that Tesla's supercharger ramp is evident in China as well. Well, uh, where plants stations could be seen across the country and its key cities. Recently, our friend Ray, who tweeted Ray for Tesla handle on Twitter, has shared many pictures and places uh, showing how supercharger network in China is expanding because China is a very, very important market. It's the world's largest electric vehicle market uh, in the world and also very important for Tesla. Gigafactory Shanghai is uh, expanding and <clears throat> more model wise are already being shipped to the people that therefore Tesla desperately need to add more superchargers in China and we're very glad to, glad to see more supercharger stations opening up in China. So a good part of this is likely due to the deployment of a dedicated supercharger production facility just a few miles away from the Gigafactory Shanghai, which is expected to start operations early this year. So Tesla is deploying a dedicated supercharger supercharger production facility to produce superchargers for uh, China and expand. So expect in 2021 to see a lot of superchargers growing in China. Uh, this uh, supercharger um, production facility uh, by Tesla at Giga Shanghai, which is expected to house a research and development center, reports Simon Alvarez from Tesla Radi is expected to produce about 10,000 superchargers per year. This is huge. So by the end of 2021, we may have 10,000 superchargers extra 10,000 superchargers in China. This should allow Tesla to ramp its supercharger expansion in China and perhaps even in neighboring areas. The potential build out of similar facilities, perhaps in other projects such as Gigafactory Berlin and Giga Texas would likely, uh, would likely allow Tesla's rapid charging network to become even more ubiquitous. I will not be surprised myself if I see Tesla deploying a supercharger production facility at Giga Berlin to expand not only in Germany, but throughout Europe. Tesla's supercharger network, says Simon Alvarez in Tesla Radi, is arguably one of the electric car makers most underrated advantages in the electric vehicle market. I totally agree with this thought because every time we report about Tesla's advantages over other <clears throat> electric vehicle makers, we always hear about supercharging network, the availability of supercharging network, but the, the fact that Tesla thought that these people need to be able to charge, and it's a huge, huge undertaking to create this vast major, uh, uh, vast network of superchargers. So built at a time when Tesla was only producing the Model S in limited quantities, the supercharger network offers electric vehicle owners a convenient, affordable, 
and reliable charging infrastructure for long trips. This has made the supercharger network among the best available today. Though Elon Musk has hinted at other electric cars using the charging network in the future as well, which we have reported. Now, you know, it's important to note that Tesla often puts a planned station on the map that never happens as each station is dependent on Tesla finding a property to deploy the station, reports Electric, adding that this, uh, made this makes uh, making an agreement with the property owner, acquiring the right permits and securing a connection with the local electric utility. There are many things that can stall a particular supercharger project, but in general, this map that you have been seeing on your screens represent, is representative of Tesla's expansion plan for the supercharger network. So in case you don't see a supercharger in that particular location by the end of the year, you may know why it's not. Maybe uh, issues with the property owner, licensing agreements, payment issues, and so on. So the automaker appears to have added many planned stations in key markets where its fleet is growing like in california in northeast in china and in some european markets like i just said starting from uh, G uh, germany uh, the gray dots that you have been seeing in this new supercharger map by tesla represents planned stations while the red dots are superchargers that are currently in um uh, in <clears throat> Uh, operation. So I see lots of gray dots in the East Coast, which is very interesting. And um, like in Quebec, for example, Tesla has added several new planned supercharger stations. As the market continues to grow, thanks to improving electric vehicle incentives and cheap electricity, the automaker is planning new stations around Montreal and Quebec City, but it is also enabling new traveling routes, including all the way to ABTB region, writes Electric, saying Tesla also added a planned supercharger, as you can see from the map, in Latuco, enabling people to travel from uh, Lac Saint-Jean through, uh, through La Maurice. And uh, when clicking on the pin, Tesla gives a rough timeline of quarter three 2021 for that particular supercharger place uh, and the automaker now says that those timelines are going to be updated on a quarterly basis so you have to wait until they are updated on quarterly basis for some new market expansions like the eastern europe for example tesla is not providing timelines uh, timelines uh, timelines but now but new potential supercharger locations are listed on the new map uh, you can check the map uh, i will have the link of the map in the description of this video and of new locations of great locations and um, updated timelines for your local supercharger network and please let us know how is your local uh, supercharger tesla network is updating in your local area in the meantime this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news analysis and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next tesla story god bless you peace be with all of you and have a wonderful rest of the day